Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I want to share with you a new journal that I've been working on. Um, it's a freestyle journal. It's something where it's effortless. I don't have to work in it every day. Um, it's something that I can kind of use to stick in stickers that I wouldn't normally use in my main journal. Um, also die cuts and printables and washi tape. Um, I just really wanted something to work in um, that was different from my main journal because I have been keeping up with um, my main journal so um, I just thought this would be a great way to kind of use up some uh, journal supplies that I wouldn't normally use in my current journal so um, excuse my nails they're horrible but um, yeah I got this journal from uh, Daiso and I covered it with some super cute stickers. Um, I did start this journal on the 16th of July. Um, I used the printable here and the rest are all stickers. So I kind of wrote down my goals for this journal. Um, I did a favorite books list. I mean, I do have more favorite books than this, but um, I didn't have enough space. But anyway, um, and then I journaled here. Um, here I did a list of favorite songs. Now these aren't favorite songs, but they're songs that I like to listen to. Um, so I kind of wrote down a whole list of them. Um, and I just love how I've highlighted the words with my highlighters and brush pens and other color pens that I have um, lying around. So I did a movie list. Uh, here, I actually took my journal away, um, so I took this one away with me when we went to uh, the Tablelands, um, or the Atherton Tablelands, because it was a lot smaller, um, and yeah, I didn't want to carry too much with me. Um, so we stayed overnight at Miller Miller with my mum and dad. We booked a cabin, and we all stayed there together, um, and we also celebrated mum's 78th birthday. Um, it was early, um, but yeah, we weren't going to be um, seeing mum on her birthday, so we thought we would do a little celebration um, for her. So um, we went up the Crander Range and we dropped into Granite Gorge National Park. It's like a caravan park where you can stay, and um, they have rock wallabies there, so... You have to pay to feed the rock wallabies and they also have some walking tracks that you can do um which we did some i think there's also a walking track that goes to like dinosaur footprints and uh there's a whale rock i think it's called but my daughter and i we decided to kind of um go a different direction than my partner and my son went to go and have a look at the rock and the dinosaur footprints so I kind of wrote down what we did. It was just so pretty to sit down in this beautiful, you know, outback scenery. Or well, not really outback scenery, but it's different from Cairns. It's dry, it's arid, um, it's like the bush. And, yeah, I just loved sitting back and feeding the rock wallabies. Um, you actually buy, like, some pallets that are in, like, a little lolly bag and, yeah, you go down and feed them and they're so cute there was a little one that had a joey in her pouch um yeah it was just really really nice so this picture here um i printed out colored it in and pasted it down there so i wrote about our trip so um as you can see here i took a photo of this um board which was um world heritage rainforest to world heritage reef and it's a journey of the Barren River. So where the Barren River begins inland and then where it ends um, at the coast. Uh, this here is my son feeding the rock wallabies. Um, it's not really a good photo because they were in the shade. Uh, this here is a photo that I took of my daughter. Um, so after we were finished with the rock wallabies, we went to uh, Atherton. We had lunch and met up with my parents and from there we did shopping at the reject shop and a couple of other places. <laughs> but um, after that we drove to Mount Hypipami National Park and we saw the crater 
because my kids and my partner haven't seen the crater before. So um, I took a photo and that's what it looks like. Um, I was absolutely terrified though um, because we were like so high up and um, yeah, I had to walk back to the car because I kind of got a little freaked out. Um, that's a photo of my partner feeding a rock wallaby. Um, so I captured this beautiful photo of my daughter and my mum. We bought a cake for mum and um, yeah, we sang happy birthday to her and I just captured this really, really lovely photo of um, my daughter singing to mum. Um, so we went to Curtain Fig Tree the following day because we slowly made our way back to Cairns. We dropped in to see the Curtain Fig Tree. Uh, we dropped into Yungabara and um, had a look at the dam. I think it's Tinaroo Dam. Um, we pulled into a platypus viewing platform, um, but we didn't see any platypuses. But um, Yungabara is actually the cleanest, prettiest little town I've ever seen. Uh, we also pulled in at Emerald Creek Ice Creamery and Karanda, which was so nice. It was buzzing with tourists everywhere. So here I did a movie list of all the movies that I've seen, um, like continuing on. Some washi tapes that I got from uh, Kmart. They're not new. They have been there for months and months, but I decided to buy some. Using up stickers. So here I kind of did a list of places I'd love to visit. So these are some new washi tapes that I got. So these two here and this one here, the silver glitter, um, is actually a three-pack uh, unicorn washi set that you get from the reject shop, which I found up on um, at Atherton uh, reject shop. These five here are from um, Lincraft, and I absolutely love that polka dot one and that that top one as well. That is just so pretty. And then these ones here all come from uh, Daiso, and then these ones here are from Kmart. So here I've written down things that I did um, on Friday the 26th of July. More new washi tape from Kmart. Um, here I did what we, uh, well I've written down what we did on Saturday. Um, I used some printables here. More printables, um, these little cutouts of printables as well. And this here is a skateboard sticker. Um, I put down some quotes from Pinterest and I found these cute dog um, printables on Pinterest and I had to print them out and cut them out and glue them in here because they were just too cute. Um, more um, quotes from Pinterest and I did some journaling there. So um, I cut out these printables. I used uh, die cuts as well and printables on this page. Here I basically um, did the border myself. I just drew a heap of rectangles and squares. Um, I outlined it with a uh, black fine liner and I coloured them all in and I thought it looked really good. So another Pinterest quote and... I just love all the stickers that I used up um, and then another kind of list that I got from Pinterest. Um, I did the border again around here. Uh, this is a printable. Um, so I went to Officeworks on Thursday. Um, so I bought the Pilot Friction Stamps. So I got the Kitty Cat one and the Cloud one and I also got a six pack of pastel highlighters. And I found in a little news agents um, some Pilot Pop Law pens, and they were actually really decent price. Um, I wrote down what I did on Friday the 2nd of August, and I found some new stickers at the reject shop, which are so cute. So um, I'll just share some of them with you. 
because they're just too cute. Um, so these ones here, so they're just these little sticker books. Um, they're $2 each, but yeah, they're just so cute. I've got this one as well. I got quite a few of them. Um, it's just I've never seen them before at the reject shop. So, um, yeah, I stuck a whole bunch of stickers that I got. Um, I did a list of favourite actress actresses and actors. Um, I got more stickers um, from a different reject shop that I hadn't seen, so I picked those up. Here is a um, quote from Pinterest, um, and I kind of decorated it with all the mermaid stickers that I have. So she dreams of the ocean late at night and longs for this wild salt air. Um, I just thought that looked really, really pretty. I like that layout. And then here I found some new sticker books from um, a different discount variety store, um, and they were just so cute, like... I'll just show you guys all these cute like little stickers and I also found an Aussie animal one which I thought was pretty cute so I got those and that's it so basically it's something very effortless something that I can work in and yeah I enjoy working in it it's a nice size so I'm able to kind of fill this up quite quickly um, I was a little unsure about it because it is a journal that doesn't exactly like the pages are, um, they don't kind of lay flat but yeah I like working in it I've got still let's see I've still got that much to go so it's not that much um, and you know I can kind of fill up you know four or five pages in you know 20 minutes or half an hour so it's something that I enjoy working in other than my main journal so I hope you guys enjoyed this journal flip through and I will see you in my next video bye